Hi, this is Adam Higgins, MarTech Consultant here at High Road, and today we're talking marketing automation with the Adestra Message Focus platform, right? And so when you think of marketing automation, you're basically taking technology to automate those marketing sequences. And you think of marketing, right? Like it's the, the true essence of marketing is creating a specific message for a specific audience to dictate a certain response, right? And so you're just using technology to automate that whole entire process. Now, when you think of marketing or think of marketing automation, it usually comes in, in two areas, right? So you have the lead cultivation area and then you have delivery optimization, right? And today, we're focusing on the lead cultivation, the lead generation component, right? And so today's example is an example of a new member uh, coming in, that lead is converted to a member, and now you wanna cultivate that relationship with a new member um, sequence, right? You wanna nurture that relationship to continue to market them in a way so that they stay and it, it prevents attrition within your organization. And so in Message Focus, uh, the automation sequences are used with a visual UI, right? So you're allowed to drag and drop options onto the canvas to create these really powerful automation sequences. And what we're gonna to create today is exactly this, right? We're gonna create a sequence for a new member and bring them through this funnel all the way to the end. And I'm gonna walk you through it from start to finish, but this is what the finished product will look like um, when we're all said and done, all right? So let's go ahead and jump in there and start off fresh and then I'll walk you through some of the options that are available within the automation um, program application, okay? so. You have send campaign as an option that you can um, drag onto the canvas, and that's really sending out a single email out of the system. So anytime you see the word campaign in the Destro message focus, just think of it as an email going out the door. Then you have delays, which are your wait times. Okay, so establishing a certain amount of time to wait or let the technology sit for a minute, right? Um, it can be days, it can be months, it can be minutes, but you're specifying the amount of time to wait. Um, list, you can add and remove people from list and add and remove people from subscript, unsubscribe list, right? So there's, in Adestra, there, there are two separate lists. Um, you got your inclusion list, which are, categorize this list and then unsubscribe list or exclusion list that you add to your campaign. So you can add and remove people from those lists with the automation sequence as well. And then you have programs. Programs are in theory a, a marketing automation sequence a program. So you can add and remove people from these sequences. And so what's really cool about that is that you can start a sequence and have it end with it starting another sequence. And that just keeps that person in a continual loop of marketing, all right? So then you also have filters. And filters, I think, are the meat and potatoes of this whole thing, right? They allow you to establish those if and then scenarios, yes and no, is this person in this or that, right? So let's take a look at that, and let's go ahead and drag that onto the canvas. And that's dragging the filter, so it's just drag and drop, really easy. You click on the filter, and now I'm gonna go in and find the filter that I want, okay? Um, so what I'm looking for is the demo, new members two days ago, all right? I'm gonna select that. And basically what that filter is, is saying, hey, give me all of the people that have joined our organization in the last two days. Now, what's key here is that you have an integration in place that's populating your database inside of Destra Message Focus. Your core table is getting populated um, with data on a nightly basis that's syncing that join date with your AMS, okay? And so that, that join date is always changing inside the system so that this automation sequence can work, right? So if that data gets stale, this auto automation sequence becomes obsolete, right? And it becomes stale as well. So we want that, that integration in place to keep that data refreshed so that this sequence can run, okay? And really what a filter is, is you're basically looking into the system, and here's a, a look at what a filter looks like, looking at a specific data point and 
in, in specifying some parameters on that data point. So what I'm doing is looking at that field join date, and that's data coming over from the database, and saying, against today's date, give me um, two days ago, okay? And I created that, and now that's bringing back um, a list of people inside my entire database um, of, of uh, members that have signed and joined um, my organization in the last uh, in the last two days, okay? And so the next option, what I'm going to do is send out an email, right? So if they are a new member in the last two days, let's send a campaign. So I'm gonna just drag that and I'm gonna drop it on these circles. It's important to drop on the circle. If you don't drop on a circle, it kind of creates this orphaned stage um, on the canvas. So what I'm gonna do is drop on a circle so it makes that connection and I'm gonna click on it and now I'm gonna go search for my campaign, okay? All right, so I have some automation uh, sequences in here. Let's go demo, welcome new, new member, but let's, let's do a search. So I'm gonna just do automation and I'm gonna hit search and it's gonna filter my list for me so I can easily find the one that I want, okay? So what I'm gonna do is select 12, which is the welcome member campaign, all right? And so that email, um, what that's saying is, welcome welcome to the you, welcome to our organization. Here's some materials that you should take a look at. It's a message from our, our CEO saying, hey, thanks for, for joining our organization. Uh, it, you know, here's a video to watch or here's some, some materials to download, right? So the simple call to action and just to engage and thank that member for joining our organization, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is establish a delay, right? So I don't wanna to send too many emails at once, but I wanna give that member enough time to kind of read that email. And usually you, see, you start to see a drop off after two to three days um, with, with open rates um, for, for emails. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and specify a delay and I'm gonna say days. Now I'm gonna say um, two days. I'm gonna wait two days. And then I'm going to send out another campaign. Okay, so I'm gonna drop it again on the circle. That hits right there, I'm gonna click. And now I'm gonna search again for my next email, okay? And so my next email is that I want to send an email to remind my members to update their preference center, right? So uh, with, the, with the Plus product, we, we include an email preference center with the integration, right? And so that email preference center allows uh, associations to specify interest in newsletters on that page that members can select or deselect, and that data gets updated to the AMS. And so what's awesome about that is that one, you can kind of uh, comply with CAM span laws, right? So it's you're, you're abiding by the rules and regulations that the US has put in forth for, for email marketing. But what's also cool is that you now have predefined marketing lists and groups of people that have specified certain interest in, in cer certain areas of interest, and now you can market to those people, right? And so it's really cool in, in, to, to get that right off the jump. So when, they, when they sign up for membership, to ask them, hey, how do you wanna, um, want us to market to you, okay? So here, what I'm doing is waiting a couple days, and I, I've already you know, welcomed them to our organization. Now I'm gonna ask for some additional information, and now they're gonna to go to the, the email preference center and make those updates, okay? So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to specify another delay. Again, dropping them on the circles makes the connection to the previous stage. I drop, drop it on the canvas. I'm gonna select another delay and I'll wait a couple more days, and there you go. And then what I'm gonna do next is apply another filter here, right? And this next filter, really what that is, is kind of looking at this sequence to see if any, if these people that are going along the stage has opened up any of these emails, right? So I wanna see if they're engaging into the content that we've already started um, to send them, right? 
and here we go so let's let's add that new filter on there and let's drop that on there and then we're going to search for that filter all right and so we're looking for has opened up the welcome automation all right and there we go so i've added that in there now it's looking and seeing hey has anybody opened up any of these emails right and what i'm going to do next is establish some tasks for the system to add um, um, the people that have completed it into a list and then I'm gonna add the people that haven't completed into a list right and so it's really good to kind of conclude your marketing automation sequences with a list to just see who has completed or hasn't completed because there's certain things you can do with those options right um, you can you know obviously start another automation sequence with it but it's really good to see who has completed um, your automation sequence or who hasn't sometimes the negative is 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 a good thing in the sense that you have that data point to use for other purposes okay so what I'm gonna do here for the people that haven't I'm going to search for a list and that list is going to be um, the new member call list. So let's do a search here for that. Oh, there it is, number 46, new member call list. Click OK. And really what that is is for um, the membership department, right? So I have a list now, a running list of people that haven't completed the sequence, haven't opened up the, any of the emails in my new uh, member campaign. and. Now um, I can hand this off to the to one of the uh, service reps, and they can make a phone call maybe, and say, and it can be a warm phone call, right? And say, hey, hey, member um, John Doe, um, did you see the two emails that we sent you um, last week? All right, and make a warm introduction, maybe walk them through um, some of the emails and the materials that we sent them in the first email, and then walk them through the email preference center, and they're talking to a live person, and maybe to get them to you know complete you know uh, their preferences and 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 really start to engage them offline as as well right and so um, you can do this uh, digitally but sometimes analog methods work as well right so the last thing here is to select the last list of the people that have completed the program and um, and then that's that's it right I can add additional items on here if I wanted to maybe add uh, the people that completed into another automation sequence um, and keep them in a continuous loop of, uh, of, of marketing. But what's awesome about this tool and what, what's great about it and what a lot of people, we get a lot of good feedback from is that it's visual, right? You can see um, how the workflow is going, right? So you can see what emails are deploying next. You can see um, the, once this is running, you'll see um, live data you'll see metrics that are applied across each stage to see how many people are in each stage so really awesome feature um, for uh, for associations to really create those lead and uh, cultivating uh, programs those nurturing programs within their organizations that you can do right out of the box and kind of offset some of the routine tasks that a lot of the, the marketers are already doing and doing it doing it manually right so um, really awesome feature uh, check it out uh, the uh, pedestrian message focus automation um, program all right